Yeah. <laughs> Lydia Daydal, Fight Connect TV, and I'm backstage at MTK Fight Night in the Ulster Hall, Belfast, with a victorious new WBO champion, Davy Oliver Joyce. Sounds well, so two time, two time champion. Yeah, uh, as only a star and bigger and better things to come as we're bad tonight. And tonight, um, uh, first of all, I want to thank my team, MTK Global, for having me in this amazing event in Belfast. Small hall show, but it's a massive draw. It's a great venue to even fight in for any boxer. And uh, I want to thank my team for that. Second, I want to thank Lee Wood for giving me the opportunity to fight for this European title yeah. against him and honour to get in the ring one. Absolutely. Well, listen, you're talking about venue. Small, but it's not that small. I mean, we have a full house here tonight and steeped in history. Yeah, the history in this place is, is unbelievable, you know, and uh, believe it or not, I, I didn't check the history until today. Yeah. And there's so much history happening in this place over the last number of years, yeah. decades, and it's an honour to get in here, walk through this corridor and even box in this venue. And the crowd out there, it's, it's unbelievable, you know, it's a, it's a crazy venue and I had more support tonight than even realised I had, you know, mm -hmm. with Belfast guys, Dublin guys, guys, Gary Cully's fans, yeah. my fans, it was an unbelievable bless. When you're in there, can you hear the crowds? Because, I mean, you got, like, you'd finished a couple of rounds there and the volume of punches going, the crowd were going as they saw the punches being thrown and then obviously to get the stoppage like that, can you hear them when you're in there? You can't actually hear what I'm saying, but you can hear the, the, the roars of them, you know, yeah. they'll be shouting their name off and... <laughs> And then after each round, that buzz builds in you, you know. He, he, that's why I was shouting back up to him. I was, I was buzzing after each round. Yeah. I was getting fitter and stronger and each round was coming on and uh, the energy was there and I was, I was, I was delighted with the win, you know. Absolutely. Talk to me about the preparation and the lead-up to this fight. Yeah, the preparation went really well. We, we'd done a nine-week training camp over the whole Christmas. Uh, it was like a dog over the Christmas. So, but <laughs> we'd done it right. Yeah. I ate right. Um, I trained right. I, I turned every stone. In this camp, in all my camps, but in this camp, I turned every stone. I done everything right. I done every session. Um, Listen to my coach, my nutritionist, and all he sends me is my recipes to eat. But I got to give my wife the, the credit that she deserves. She doesn't. Deserve, she doesn't look for it. Mm -hmm. But I got to give it to her because she's the one who puts my meals together. When I'm in Dublin, Monday to two, Monday to Friday each week, got on the first thing in the morning, dropped the kids to school, come, I'm not back home till half four, five o'clock. She's my meals all prep, prep for me, so I've got to give her so much credit. But Absolutely, and it's the wives and the partners that don't get enough credit, right? People don't look at that, you know, they don't, they don't realise what's behind it. Yeah. They've got to listen to you 24-7, they've got to wash your gear, you're hanging out, so you're crying, you're nagging, you're whatever, so on. And, but I've got to give it to what an amazing woman to have. Absolutely. Before, this is obviously our first meeting, our first interview. Mm. I've been trying to get you on for so long, and I was in the gym last Three week, times, but you were yeah, your yeah. head down, you were training away. But I remember, um, you know, when I first started, I started Fight Connect TV, and I was asking people about different boxes and different things, and your name kept coming up. And the two things that people kept saying to me about you was, he loves two things, and that's his family and boxing. Um, does that kind of, is that something that you want to portray? I mean, you obviously speak so highly of your wife and your mm. four kids. I imagine uh, family is massively yeah, important I'm to you. I'm a really big family man, you know, and I love my family, love my wife, I love my four amazing kids. Um, and at the end of the day, this is all getting done for them. Yeah. I do this for them every day I'm in the gym. I work for them, you know, and that's the most important thing. I love boxing. I've been boxing since I was nine years old. It's something that I've always done. The wife said to me, you know, why, why can you pick an easier sport, a different sport? <laughs> Swimming what or about something? a bit of golf? Or, or golf, yeah. And I says, I, that's I, where I, the money is. I've actually <laughs> said it to her about three or four years ago. I love boxing. Yeah. I actually love boxing, but... Um, yeah. Do you think you could do this if you didn't love it as much? No, yeah. I couldn't. And uh, I've loved the amateur, the amateur career I had. It was an amazing career I had with the amateur Irish team. Uh, but I'm loving profession right now and at the end of the day it's all getting done because of my family and I want to make them have a better life and a happier life at the end of my career. Yeah. Brilliant. Well listen, on that note, I'll let you get back to your wife and enjoy the celebrations. Congratulations. You, you deserve much. it. You really do. Thank you very much and uh, thanks everybody for the support you've been giving me. Brilliant. Thank you. Davy Oliver-Joyce for Fight Connect TV.